Monsieur Thomas, who are you? <laughs> who am I? Uh, well, um, like I said at the beginning, I got uh, three hats. Uh, uh, probably my first one is being a farmer's and farmer's son. I've been farming all my life. And uh, well, that's probably what I, the only thing I know how to do. <laughs> and, uh, and then I had the chance to, when I was a young kid, to, to travel, the, the, travel a bit the world. And uh, I worked for two years in America. In, um, and I worked for one year in Australia, in completely different uh, areas. You know, when, when you see a uh, Northern American uh, doing uh, 14, 15 tons of corn per hectare, per hectare and uh, an Australian making poorly one and one and a half ton of wheat, you know, well, they're old farmers and they, they, uh, they try the best, you know, to make their living. And so uh, back on my piece of land in France, I, I had to find my ways, you know, with all the knowledge I had. Uh, and uh, I was a little bit uh, uh, influenced by no deal and at that time and and it was not working 100 percent so we we worked we didn't stop because we thought it was a good idea we work in trying to find a solution to make it works and cover crop was the first step and then uh, we move into a rotation and we move to, to companion cropping and and today on the farm we even reincorporate grazing animals because we have uh, plenty of food uh, and uh, and animals can graze cover crops and that's make extra profit into the into the system um, also managed for the last 20 years uh, a magazine called TCS which is for people you know being in the same uh, changing of agriculture like I am and uh, I also uh, uh, travel a little bit across the country and coming to Sweden and other country like that to exchange about our experience and also to see what other farmers are putting into the system because it's always a learning and there is always ways to push forward uh, the way we're doing uh, I think uh, we have done a lot already in changing our farming practices and they are a lot more environmental friendly and they are better reward in terms of economy but uh, I still think there is a lot more to do in that direction so it's my what is pushing me it's a quest for better results all the time right. that's what I'm looking for and you said during your presentation that France and Switzerland are ahead of the rest of Europe. Was that correct? Yeah, mm. my my farm is in central France, and uh, and I follow also, you know, experimentation in Switzerland, mm -hmm. and uh, they've been comparing uh, no-till and plow for uh, 25 years now, on six crops every year, uh, two summer crops, uh, sugar beet and uh, corn silage. It's is very high elevation, 500 meters, and they got 1.2 uh, liters, 100 and 1,200 liters of water per square meter per year. And uh, so they grow wheat and they grow barley, they grow beans and peas as well. And so uh, there is no replication in that experimentation, but they are just looking for the best way uh, to incorporate cover crop, rotation, lease as possible, uh, you know, agrochemicals in agriculture system, whether in no-till, whether in plowing system. And, uh, and we learn a lot from them and we influence them on some system. It's just like, a, you know, a kind of cross-pollinating uh, things. And uh, each time we see each other, we come with maybe new ideas that doesn't work all the time, but uh, improvement all the time. And if you, if you summarize it, what are the main benefits according to you with conservation agriculture? Well, I will say there is today very standard benefits like uh, using a lot less fuel, a lot less machinery, a lot less hours on a tractor. So that is uh, very evident, especially when uh, you have very heavy ground or where the time is very short. Uh, second thing. Uh, there is a lot of advantages in terms of uh, soil quality, uh, life, uh, tillage has been proved, especially in Sweden, there have been some research in Denmark, some research, uh, some, an, an action that is really ruining, you know, the, 
the life. I mean, it's uh, uh, soil, it's uh, an environment, and uh, by doing any tillage, you are doing a lot of aggression in that in that system, you know. And uh, so, if you can stop that, it will help this biodiversity to evolve and to 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 uh, to, to, to develop. And especially when you increase the production and the diversity with the crops and the cover crops, uh, it will help to, sec to sequester carbon. So it's a, a way to get more carbon from the atmosphere. And at the time where many people are talking about that, I mean, agriculture can do that. So it's a very positive uh, attitude. And also, uh, it put farmers into a way of a positive way that we can evolve, make our farming practices evolve and uh, uh, problems are kind of challenge that have to make you think and to in order to find tricks in order to overcome the challenge it will always be new challenge coming anyway and because it's farming but then you are in terms of positive dynamic movement not sitting here and waiting for the people to find the solution for the problems you have you are in a challenging and an improvement and this positive attitude is really changing the the way i look at farming myself oh. something bad happen okay yeah I'm farming. I mean, uh, whatever you do, there is risk, and uh, so this is a new challenge, and I have to to see how I can overcome that, and that is really feeding me as well. Right. Uh, <clears throat> um, you've spent some time in this country, and you are well acquainted with the conditions here. Um, what would you recommend a Swedish farmer who is interested in? conservation agriculture to start with? Uh, probably probably to travel a little bit to see other farmers that travel. are or travel to travel a little bit probably from the beginning and to see some farmers that are already in the system in order to uh, to get the information and to get the feeling and and to see if this can transfer to his farm or this can't transfer to his farm really to see the objective of the farmer and the condition because the cut a uh, copy and and put back on the farm it's very hard to make it work you know you have to get the ingredients but to make your own soup at the end oh. so just get informed uh, and don't see only one get few in order to make your own approach and then try and then don't wait until you're sure of everything because even myself after 30 years i'm still not sure of everything and even more i know less i think i know <laughs> and more and and so just give it a go it's just like if i can give an image it's just like swimming okay you don't know how to swim you can read all the books about I know to swim, you can have all the teaching, you know, and uh, all the things. But then you will have to jump into the water. By the time you don't, you, do, you never jump in the water, you will never learn how to swim. Okay, and farming and conservation ag is the same thing. Okay, learn, learn, and then jump. If you're a more secure guy, take a part of the farm, small acres, small field but a field that is doing well and start on it and and use this field as a teaching field for the rest of your farm and but stick on that field you know even if the thing doesn't work to, but to keep going on the field and use the field as a teaching system for your farm i mean if you look if you lose let's say a couple ton of wheat which is a very big loss but it's only 300 euro per acre okay if it's five acre okay it's not a big loss for the farm compared to the learning you will have that you can introduce to the rest of the farm but if that fuel help you to secure a 50 euro saving on the rest of the farm let's put it a 200 or 300 acre farm i mean the profit is coming and you have to make your r d in some way and keep this r d on the farm and then if you are a less secure guy and more convinced, 
well you can go you can go the the old farm if you feel i mean get enough information up today it's a lot less risky than it was 25 years ago because uh, we get into it with no knowledge with just a lot of conviction and youth and say we will revolutionize the world uh, today the knowledge is there the machinery is there and the know-how is there so there is a lot of uh, i mean there is you will still have problems but it will be it, it will be a lot easier to get in a lot easier to get in Monsieur Thomas, thank you ever so much.